sprinkle in some of this. It just sinks right to the bottom. Stir it up a little bit. Now I would expect the amps to go up with this. It's now a more conductive electrolyte. So uh, let's go ahead and hook our positive back up. And I think we should see our amp draw go up. I've got a problem with this plate. Okay, here we go. Let's turn power on. Uh, surprisingly enough, unless something's come undone, amp draw has gone way down. Um, that has gone the other way now. Now that's surprising. Um, that is surprising. That took the amps from uh, 14 and a half amps down to about one and a half amps. Um, it is producing, but it is very, very low connectivity. Isn't that something? As you can see that I'll turn this so you can kind of see the plates a little better. It is um, in conduction, but I'm kind of surprised that that took the amp draw down that much. Okay, we're going to go ahead and um, empty the water out of here and put. Uh, get rid of the electrolyte solution and just put uh, water, just straight H2O back in it. Okay, so here we are back again with just uh, normal Barstow tap water. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and apply some current to this and we'll switch on the power supply right now. Okay, now now this is weird. Um, I'm not getting any amp draw at all. And this is weird. Why is that? Have I just had a failure of my Power supply. Yep, that thing's that thing's hardly even putting out. What's this thing putting out now? So something's happened. I may have just in fact I'll bet you I know what I've done is I've blown the fuse. There's 14 volts. Well, I don't know what to say yet. I don't know what to say. It's uh, only drawing 3 tenths of an amp. And uh, 
don't really know what's... Oh, I see what's going on. Well, it helps if you don't short out your plates. Okay, I had shortened out, I had shorted out my plates. Okay. Not good. <clears throat> All right. So, um, I don't know. There, there's a, there's 12 amps. I shorted out the plate on this bolt. Like I say, this is not how I fancy this happening. Um, but, um, Turn the power supply off and reposition this bolt. This is not cool. Okay, let's let's try this again. Okay. All right. So, so let me try the uh, let me try the hydroxy again. Um, again, make sure you're in a well ventilated room. Here's one teaspoon of hydroxy, and look at the amps. Or, uh, the amps are dropping. That is really odd, and I don't. Um, I didn't expect that to happen. Um, I did not expect that to happen at all, and I don't really like that. I'm going to go now. Put some more barstool water in here. So, the lye actually made the water less conductive, and um, I would almost say this is um, an acid, so the more acid, um, the less conductivity. Uh, as our power supply is going to come back on. There's our 10 amps, and we have hydrogen production right off the bat. I don't have a good connection on that plate, so one of my plates isn't working. So as you can see, there is uh, right there hydrogen being produced. So if an acid does that, there's a there's 13 amps in the Barstow water. What happens if you add a base, which would be the opposite of an acid? Here's a um, boy. It's eating my uh, why is eating this aluminum? That's not cool. Let's put a little bit of a uh, base in. And I just got some lye on my cut, and it kind of hurts. Okay, um, let's look at our amps, 13, uh, about 13.25 amps. Here's a little bit of bicarbonate, sodium, I'm kind of stir that up in there. And that, you can see, has sent, again, our amp draw plummeting. 